welcome back to my channel i'm miss lauren lee 11 and today i'm going to be doing a review on something that i'm quite excited about it's the primark's new curly hair line i reviewed a curly hair line they had maybe last summer and i really really like the stuff but it seems that they've discontinued it maybe because it didn't reach out to the wider range even just the design of the package maybe it didn't appeal to everybody with curly hair in the store what they've done is they've gone back to basics and they've changed the packaging and I believe as well as the formula. I have a feeling this is not gonna work as well on my hair as their last curly styling product, but I'm still gonna give it a try. So today they are the leave-in conditioner, which I showed you from my last video, and it's called Curl and Defined. This one was £1.50, and their Curl and Define hair cream. Tried a little bit of the hair cream on my hair and yeah, so we're just going to see how this goes today and it's not a talking video guys, I'm literally just going to show you how this works, show you how both of them apply my hair once my hair is styled and once my hair is dried. Okay, so just before I go on, so the leave-in conditioner says this frizz control leave-in conditioner helps to enhance and define your curls and waves formulated with botanical Brazil nut oil. Again, guys, if you do have any allergies to nuts, please be aware it does contain Brazil nut oil. Okay, for best results, use in combination with Curl and Define Shampoo, which I haven't got, and the Curl and Define Cream, which I have got. So it's directions. Smooth onto dry or damp hair. That's it. Right, so it's got alcohol in there, guys. The first ingredient is water, but it has got alcohol. Let me see, does it have silicones? Oh, yes, it does have silicones in it, guys. <laughs> Okay, so then the hair cream, this frizz control cream, helps to enhance and define your curls and waves with botanical Brazil nut oil and sweet almond oil. Apply to dry or damp hair, style as usual. That's it. So, so I'm going to do it, style as usual.
Okay, so there you have it. I'm gonna quickly show you the back before I go on to talk about the products. Okay, so first, let's talk about the leave-in. The leave-in was okay. I'm not sure if it's really necessary for my hair. It may work well together with the hair cream, but I, I think I would have been fine just to use the hair cream by itself. But the leave-in, I can feel the oils in there. So it doesn't just feel watery, which I like. Um, I'm not really used to these type of creams. If I'm using creams, they have to be a lot thicker because I tend to get frizz and not a lot of definition. But talking about definition, I've got a lot of definition and a lot of curls and I'm, I actually like it. It's not too bad, I'm not mad at it. Yeah, I actually like it. I like the way it weighs my hair down as well. There's not really much more I can say about the leave-in. Smells kind of florally, not really my type of scent. But okay <laughs> if your hair needs added moisture i'll say use that okay so let me just put the leave-in away because i've finished talking about that hair cream um again i don't know if it's because i've used the leave-in and the hair cream together while my hair's weighed down because i've got more product on it i don't know it's, it's kind of what i expected not in a horrible way but nothing super special at this point i don't know if it's because i'm being biased and i preferred their curl products prior to these ones but We'll see. I think we're just gonna have to wait and see how my hair dries. I'm gonna let it air dry and I'll come back to you once it's fully dried. But yeah. Oh, one thing I will say though that I did notice, guys, even though it says to use both products together, I noticed some balling. And I don't know if you can see on my hair, you may be able to see some balling. Yeah, that's, um, for me, that's a no go because we all know how irritating balling can be. You don't wanna apply a product after you've just freshly washed your hair and then have to go and re-wash your hair because you've got a product in your hair that won't mix together yeah i don't know we're just gonna have to wait and see aren't we guys <laughs> so i will be back once my hair has fully dried with the end results yeah this is day free hair i actually really like it it is feeling a bit dry but as you may or may not know, I do wash my hair on day four because that's when my hair starts to act up and get dry and frizzy and what have you. And even though it still might look okay, I can't deal with the dryness. Overall, and I'm not a fan of hair creams anymore, but this may be changing it a little for me. It definitely provided the curls and definition. I thought it was gonna be really watery and just frizz my hair, but it's actually not done a bad job. It hasn't got super hold, it's just, in fact, it hasn't got any hole. It's just soft. It just curled my hair and kept it that way. There's no crunch. And I did apply some gel on my edges. I've got a tiny little bit of balling, but nothing crazy. So it does actually mix. They do actually mix okay with gels. I did notice a bit of balling, as I mentioned, when I applied it, guys. But that, that all went. I put a little bit of castor oil on my, on my roots. And that went. So let me first go and talk about the leave-in. Um, it has a very fragranty type smell florally i should say it's the only way i can describe it but once applied to the hair you don't really smell that to be honest the consistency and texture is smooth the consistency is kind of watery it's like a water-based kind of leave-in you can feel the oils in it it doesn't feel like water like i'm putting a water-based product on my hair you can feel the oils on it as you can see it's curled my hair up if you can see that got a bit of shine to it and that's another thing my hair was actually shiny when i applied this stuff first and for one pound fifty that's not bad i don't think you need too much so i think maybe i might get about three washes out of this okay so i'm gonna move on to the pearl and define cream now this actually surprised me it's actually like a body lotion i thought this was gonna be this wash and go downfall this doesn't smell as strong as scented as the leave-in slight hint of the leave-in smell and it doesn't feel sticky or anything so in comparison to their last curl cream um that had a bit of tax if i can compare it to anything and i've done a comparison it was the bedhead tiggy curls amplifier that's what the last one reminds me of this just reminds me of body lotion didn't take that long to dry either guys i air dried my hair and it took not the whole day would I use it again? Absolutely. Would I recommend them? Absolutely. I did say initially that I wouldn't necessarily use the leave-in underneath and I think I could just use the hair cream. But to be honest, I think they work well together. Yes, yeah, so guys, that is it. I said, how much would I give these uh, out of 10? Seven and a half, eight out of 10. They were actually quite surprisingly good and they are definitely something I would use again and cheap and cheerful. 
and I like the definition. <laughs> I won't be able to put a link to buy these online because they are actually only in store and Primark don't have online stores where you can purchase items. So you will have to go in store if you do have a Primark near you. This is not sponsored by the way, guys. <laughs> so that is it. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye.